devastation and destruction. The homes in this part of Fort McMurray, no match for an inferno that ripped through this community last week. The charred structures, now remnants of what had been built just to keep up with an oil boom nearby. The city sits at the center of Canada's growing oil sands region. Foreign investment, including from China, helped build some of these mines. Production is expected to triple by 2030. A significant amount of the output is processed and exported abroad, including south to the U.S. But as workers evacuated, most of these facilities, themselves not in danger, have been taken offline, cutting the region's crude output by half. That's an estimated one million barrels per day. The communities here have been built upon the oil industry. It has literally fed the people here over the years. And some say as the forests have gone up in flames, so too have their livelihoods. I'm going to look for a place to rent short term and try and find some uh, work, whatever I can do here, until we can have a chance to get back home. Robbie Picard heads a local NGO called I Love Oil Sands. His own home was destroyed, but he's confident the community will rebuild. The infrastructure's there, the hospital's there, the provincial building's there, with some tweaks and, you know, and uh, certification. Um, the electricity, the gas will all be back up. Certain neighborhoods will have to be bulldozed and other neighborhoods will thrive and we'll get through this. The sands themselves are controversial. Environmentalists warn of the long-term risks, but in the short term, the financial appeal continues to lure workers to a town locally dubbed Fort Make Money. What benefits Fort McMurray benefits the entire country, and we are the economic uh, center of the country. We're the heart of this country. We're the pulse of the economy. And as long as there's a pulse, the heart will keep pumping. And that's really a, a theme that we've been seeing here. This is really a community with a pulse, a community with a lot of heart, and a lot of them are really keen to just get back and rebuild. But as Rachel uh, Notley toured and announced that 2,400 homes had been destroyed, 50% more than the initial estimate, that of course has to be a setback here for the people. Back to you in Beijing.